What's up everybody, Succeed with Omid here, and today I'm gonna to talk about what is going on with the low back. Why is it always inflamed? Why is it getting into pain all the time? Well, the chances are, it's actually not because you have a weak butt, it's because you have a weak front of your body that's not actually folding you over, and the low back has to go over instead. The rest of this video is not my beautiful bearded face, but actually my pelvis, so if you'll excuse me, I'll be right back. Real quick, the belt line will always tell you if you're partnering up with a mirror or something. This is a bad position, super hyperextended the back. This is a good position, neutral. Don't go too far, okay? We want to keep it rounded the back. But let's say I drop something on the ground, I want to come over for it, and this is what happens. It's okay to do this once or twice, but the problem is we actually do this quite a bit through the day when we pick, drop something, need to pick it up, pull it back up. Eventually, especially if you're weak in your core, your lower back's gonna really start hating getting you out of this position over and over and over again and will default to here to get pressure out of the low back. Now here's the fix, okay? Find your pelvis neutral, okay? Be far enough away from the wall that touching it's very hard, okay? This is really easy. If I scoot forward, touching it gets a little harder. If I move even further away, what needs to happen, right? Instead of rounding from the back, I've gotta fold my front. I've got to get these two points closer together to fold myself balanced into this hip hinge position before I can touch the wall with a neutral spine. Now how the heck do I get out of it? Now I've got to squeeze my butt. This is where the butt strength comes in. Nice and handy. Hinging back up through this position. To make this even worse, grab one of these really cheap bands you can get these for 99 cents a lot of places, or I got a whole set of them for six bucks. Beautiful investment for any home gym. It's not that I want to get my knees way out to the side. That's not the point of this. The point of this is to activate the stabilizers from side to side. So I'll find my same position. I'll find my same pelvic tilt, brace through the front of the body, folding myself backwards. And what this band is going to do is it's going to tell me if my knees are coming towards each other or out to the side. I want them a little bit out to the side to activate glute medius, pulling myself back, getting torque into the hips, touch the wall, and then with a neutral spine, squeezing through the hips to turn back to this position. If you get real good at this, let's see if I can do it first try. Brace through the core, moving way, way back with the neutral spine, all the way back, 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 go back, back, go back, oh my god. Boom, there's the wall. Whew, I almost didn't make it. Right back to the beginning. Last thing I want to say about the hip hinge is it's a nervous system exercise. All right, we're not necessarily going for big, strong stretches or big, huge muscles. We're just trying to get the hips to realize I fold in the front and I push backwards and then I squeeze up from the butt. And that's gonna take a while, 20, 30 repetitions a day for three or four days to really retrain the brain on how to actually do that exercise, all right? Otherwise, I hope that information is very helpful to you guys, and as always, have a happy and healthy rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time.